day a very important package arrived and I figured I'd do a video of unboxing it. And so the packaging actually looks pretty original. I've already done some of the unboxing. Unboxing of the main unit, the 4694. I just got this on eBay. Uh, I believe it's in new condition. I'm pretty sure that's what it said, at least. But this and that were in the box behind me and then the box marked IBM. It's right here, so we'll move this here out of the way. Put that down there. And then I just need to find my knife. So the packaging has these straps on it. Yeah, please excuse the mess. I've got a lot of things going on right now. And now I have this to uh, take care of. But we got IBM logo there. This here. Um not really sure i guess you have to open it that way i'm not really sure what all that means underneath got that there i'll be keeping this packaging of course but i just wanted to film this because i'm like i said i'm not quite sure on the build date on this but it's possible that uh this has been unopened although i'm really not sure so go ahead and cut these it's gonna be a little hard with uh just a knife but One. That's probably not maybe an improved way to do it. Let me set this down. Oh, that is nice. So we have the monitor box. And then this, which I'm not sure what's in here. But I'm wondering if the system is possibly supposed to all be in this. Instead of being in two boxes. I'm not sure. The seller did uh, follow my request of putting it in a everything into different boxes. So that box there, this was in that, and then the other box I think is not IBM packaging. But I basically just asked him to put the IBM boxes into other boxes so that they don't get damaged in shipping. This is taking a little hit, but it's nothing that's that big a deal. So we'll open this in a second. I'm gonna get this paper out of the way because I'm really not sure what's on it. Oh, it looks like it's the order for this system. I'm gonna guess from IBM. Although I don't, I don't know if there was a middleman involved or not. I guess it was. Hmm. All right, so this should be the monitor here. Okay, so, we'll open this here first. This feels light. Let's see what it says. Just a set of instructions, I guess. This should come with documentation as well. That's probably. Uh, Probably what's in here. So we have IBM safety and regulatory information. Fortunately, it does not say 4690 on anywhere. But so there's that. Put that to the side. Then there is warranty and notes. Other than that, there was these two pages here. These go to the monitor, the uh, VGA, and then the power, powered USB cable for power. Okay, I'm my knife again. Hopefully, I can find it. Mm. So this will be a slightly more unprofessional video than usual. Well, I can't find my knife, so. I'm going to have to very carefully open this with a second
wish I know where that went. Just had it. Okay, just a moment longer. in there. So I'll set that right there. I will pull off the styrofoam. Oh wow. Okay, before I take this out, I'll film this. So we have some Asian lettering there. I'm not sure if that's Japanese or Chinese, and then that silica stuff, and then this very thick plastic. So I'll open this paper here, 4820, I think that's the model number. Looks like that might be a date. Let's see what the date is on this. Yep, there's a 4820, 2007. For that so i guess these were being made up until then which i'm surprised uh the monitor i'm not but the tower did not only made them that long uh, unless this was separate i'm really hard to tell but so this monitor is actually smaller than my 700s monitor which is cool and that's kind of concerning there there's some sort of Okay, it's just a mark. Good. Okay, well, that's the monitor there. Not much more else to say on that. The uh, little uh, cover there for the buttons as well. Okay, so that's those two and that. So I guess now we can look at the main system quick. So let me get around here. Where I can do that. Move this. Set that there. Okay, so here's the main system and the fence. So the monitor is smaller and the stand is different. So mine actually has the uh, taller stand, which I dislike. I actually like these better, these shorter ones. But the um, this piece is longer, and it seems like some models have longer ones and some have the shorter ones. I prefer the shorter ones, but at least it's not the tall stand model, which I really do not care for. I see the 4694 logo. Hopefully this has a CD-ROM or a floppy, and it does have a floppy. Here's the lock there. I don't know if I got keys or not. I hope so. Really hope so. Let's spin this around. So one concerning thing that I just noticed is this looks a little, that might be how it's meant to be, I guess. It just looks a little warped. So let me set you down again. It's actually already screwed the fence off by clicked out of its hole there. So I'll have to fix that off camera, but and this looks a little, out of place. Okay, so let's look at the I.O. here. I'm not sure this is a 4694-347. I think my other one's a 247 or a 2-something. This definitely has more ports. We got our power there. Powered USB. And then three USB. Regular USB. Parallel. Uh, and then the a bunch of IPL ports. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact names and all of them. And serial. And VGA, DVI, surprisingly. Ethernet. 
keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I'm glad it has the fence. It, it has everything except for the keyboard, which I bought one already for that, and it's already here, so that's nice. Uh, I'm not sure. I got the monitor cables. I have the cables for the printer. I have a keyboard cable on the way. So I guess the only thing I'm not sure on is if I have the keys to this, which I hope I do. Even if it's unlocked, I'd still like the keys. Let me look here and see. So definitely not here. Here's a closer look at the VGA dated 07 and the power cable. Here as well. So let me. Okay. We'll look in here quick. So this is the box, the system box. It's just sitting in there, essentially. And a bunch of cardboard was shoved on the sides. Take that out. sure what that is. Put that there. And we have that. So okay. Okay. No keys in here. That's the clip. That went to something. Hopefully it's not essential. Okay, and then that paperwork that I saw, that looked like an order receipt or something, was from 2007 as well, November 29th. So there's that, but that shows, yeah, that's the order slip for that monitor, not the entire machine. So the rest of the computer could be indifferent. A different build date and stuff, which I think it would be because I don't think they made these into 07, but let's take a look at the receipt printer here. I'll shove this back just a little bit. Okay. So check the build date on this. Let's see, it looks like it's paper now, which is nice. Let's see what that says. And I can't read it, so let's Let's do that. I'm not seeing the build date on here. We should have one, but I don't see one. At least not in this area. <laughs> okay, so I can try quick to take the system out of its casing so we can see the inside, see how it's set up in there. The receipt printer has got a bit of an issue as well with its panels not quite being clicked together. So I gotta look at that and see what its deal is. Okay, so let's shove sh this back one more time, which is good. It's got two sticks of RAM and it has the expansion card with two PCIs and one ISA. My other one has two ISAs and one PCI. I cannot believe this has a drive in it. That is amazing. Okay, well, oh, here's the build date, 2003, February. That's also good, because I want an older system. So the machine is 03, the plastics are probably 03, the fence is probably 03, the keyboard case cover it came with is probably 03, the monitor is the only thing that's new. Okay, that's good. So I'm really curious, really hoping that there's something on that drive. So what I'm going to do now is uh, stop the video here. Sorry for being very unprofessional. I'm filming on an iPhone, so I can't really set this up anyway. I don't have the equipment for that or whatever. So I'm going to 
clean my workspace up here and move my other 4694, which I would show you, but because it's right there on top of this dresser, but it's got a inventory sticker on it, which has some things written on it I don't want to show on camera. So I'm going to get this together and move that system and then try to get this together quick so I can boot it on and we can see what's on it. So, all right, thanks for watching. All right, so I have it together enough to turn it on and put the receipt printer or the keyboard in place or anything like that. Like I said, I don't have the keyboard cable, so I can't use a point of sale keyboard at the moment. So I just use this wise keyboard, but we are plugged in, the monitor's connected, everything else. I forgot I actually had taken this out of the box and in here somewhere is the keys along with some plastic pieces and other cables. So along with a proper power cable, although I use um, I use gray cables on both these systems just because they work well with them. So, okay, I'll start this up, see what happens. The monitor works. There is nothing in that drive, unfortunately. Okay, well, that was the setup. So, our first startup. Thanks for watching.